Hey, favorite first graders. I hope you're doing wonderful today. I really miss you a lot, but at least I get to teach you through these videos. We're going to work on a reading skill that we've practiced before quite a lot at school, and you've also worked on it in kindergarten as well. It's called sequencing. You'll remember sequencing is when you put events of the text in order that they happen. So sequencing means putting things in order. So we are going to do a read aloud today, and then we're going to put the events of the story in order. So as I read today's text, and it's a great one, it's called, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Chick. We love our old lady books. We've read lots of those this year. It's by Lucille Calandro, and it's illustrated by Jared Lee, and it's published by Scholastic. So as we... Um, read this together today if you will think about the events of the story because we're going to be putting them in order in a little bit are you ready here we go there was an old lady who swallowed a chick there was an old lady who swallowed a chick i don't know why she swallowed that chick but she didn't get sick There was an old lady who swallowed some straw. The chick looked in awe as she swallowed the straw. She swallowed the straw to cover the chick. I don't know why she swallowed that chick, but she didn't get sick. I bet you're saying it at home with me, aren't you? There was an old lady who swallowed an egg. She didn't beg to swallow that egg. She swallowed the egg to jazz up the straw. She swallowed the straw to cover the chick. I don't know why she swallowed that chick, but she didn't get sick. There was an old lady who swallowed some candy. She knew that candy would come in handy. A lot of good rhyming words in here today, aren't there? She swallowed the candy to sweeten the egg. She swallowed the egg to jazz up the straw. She swallowed the straw to cover the chick. I don't know why she swallowed that chick, but she didn't get sick. There was an old lady who swallowed a basket. A tisket, a tasket, a brightly colored basket. She swallowed the basket to carry the candy. She swallowed the candy to sweeten the egg. She swallowed the egg to jazz up the straw. She swallowed the straw to cover the chick. I don't know why she swallowed that chick, but she didn't get sick. There was an old lady who swallowed a bow. Oh, what a show when she swallowed that bow. She swallowed the bow to tie on the basket. She swallowed the basket to carry the candy. She swallowed the candy to sweeten the egg. She swallowed the egg to jazz up the straw. She swallowed the straw to cover the chick. I don't know why she swallowed that chick, but she didn't get sick. There was an old lady who, who started to hop. She jumped up and down and just wouldn't stop. Oops, oh look, she's taking a tumble. As she skipped down the trail on a day that was sunny, guess who she met? Wow! The Easter Bunny! Thanks! So now we're going to look at putting the events in order. So let's look at our events that we have. I took some sticky notes and I wrote down our major events and we have eight major events that happened in this story and they're all mixed up and I need to sequence them which means put them in the order that they happened. Now it's always a good idea to have your text handy if you need to refer to it but you can also rewind this video and go back and look. Let's see if we can do it without the video. All right let's think about what the first thing if it was the egg, the basket, the candy, the chick, the bow, or she tripped, the Easter bunny, the straw, or the hop. Let's think about what happened first. You're right, it was the chick. She swallowed a chick. So 
Well, let's think about the second thing that happened after she swallowed that chick. Mm -hmm. I bet you got it right. She, she swallowed the straw. That was the second thing she swallowed. Let's think about the third thing that she swallowed. I bet you said egg. Egg was the third thing that she swallowed. All right, let's think about the fourth thing that she swallowed. After that egg, which one of these? If you said candy, you're right. She swallowed the candy, the fourth thing in the book. Now I need to see what the fifth thing is that she swallowed. Yep, it was the basket. Now we have Easter Bunny, Bo, Tripped, and Hop. Hmm, let's think back to our story. The bow was next. She had to have a bow to put on that basket. But then we've got Easter Bunny hop and tripped. Well, she started hopping, didn't she? And after she started hopping, then she tripped. And now she met the Easter Bunny. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I needed one more, didn't I? See, teachers make mistakes even on video. It was nine major events. It's Easter Bunny. So I hope you enjoyed our sequencing activity. Have a great day.